After living aboard our trawler for over two years, we have decided that a longer range vessel is required for circumnavigation. With COVID and the quarantine, we accelerated our five year plans into months. We've been selling all of our things in preparation for travel around the globe. We met three years ago and our first date was to bring a boat from New York to Miami, which was going to be a one week, but turned to be a lifetime living off the grid. Come along with us for exploration of the unknown tropical islands, uncharted waters, exotic foods and treasure hunting. We have been refitting our 55 foot steel motor sail past eight months and only one month to go. During this refit, we continue to live on our trawler and manage to escape weekends to unknown anchorages, test equipment, relax, explore, and bring you videos of water adventures from all over South Florida. Weather in South Florida can go from beautiful sunshine to water spouts and 50 knot gusts in just a matter of minutes. One must always be prepared for the unexpected. The only way I can get William of the boatyard is when the weather prediction is bad. I don't have a lot of experience on the water, but when a storm does hit and the winds are blowing, I get a little overexcited, partially because I enjoy it, but also because I'm a little bit scared. We started the engines, pulled the power, untied the boat, and headed for the new anchorage on a bright sunny morning. Then... My unfavorite part of preparing this motor yacht to the voyage is unzipping the icing glass. William always um, was saying that it's fine, uh, don't worry about it, it's not that bad. Uh, until one day he did it without me instead of me and from that time we made a decision that we're not going to have ice and glass or any kind of plastic on our new boat. Fire. <laughs> I think that being in the captain chair is some kind of can't wait to get back on the Dawn Hunter, where we only have one small power cord instead of all of this work, just to leave. No matter how many times we set out unknown anchorages, it amazes me that we're going right down the middle of Miami in the river with buildings on each side leaving civilization behind. What? Good job. I don't hear you. <laughs> I was able to convince Yana to take two days off from working on Dawn Hunter and use the boat that doesn't need anything other than 
a little bit of love. So we're going to head probably No Name Harbor tonight, something we'll be telling you about later on. And uh, then onward to Pumpkin Key Island. Pumpkin Key. Just when you least expect it, an accident can happen at sea very fast. Ah, what a beautiful day. William is setting up Snooba at the back and I'm chilling on a bumper. Suddenly, I hear... Shit, do you remember how to do stitches? I skipped that class. This video is available now to our patrons at patreon.com slash dawn underscore hunters. It will be released in the future for our subscribers on YouTube. For those of you that can't wait, from now on we will have early release adventures for our patrons. First bridge today. Opening up. William is happy to be on the water. This is an extended video of our voyage to a new anchorage as requested by our subscribers. And although we will be bringing you a lot of footage of South Florida, we did remove most of the Miami River passage. So if you'd like to see more of the Miami River footage, check out Miami River boat tour in two parts. Can you find a dragon video? I love this little ship. It used to be a tug. I like this little ship. Matt. <laughs> used to be a tug. <laughs> this is William. He has 500 screens around him so his pilot soul can be calm and quiet. Steel. Yes, I see rust. <laughs> Our next opening, over. Champagne lady, copy, standing by 09 for your next opening. Thank you. William hobby is to talk to Bridges and all the fellow passengers. Spike. He usually spikes conversations with <laughs> Where? I killed you. Don't be jumping on the boat. The deck's gonna rip through. I, it's dead. Thank you. Where? You got half of the river woken up. <laughs> what happened? It was between your legs. I killed it ten minutes before you even said hello. But where is it now? Smashed on the floor. I am so afraid of spiders. As you probably figured. This is also why we bought a steel hull boat, <laughs> so we don't cave through to the to the lower levels. As Yana does her spider dance. I think it's somewhere here. Yet yeah. I smashed it. Where is it? I smashed it and flicked it. It was a big. No. Southwest Second Avenue Bridge. Southwest Second Avenue Bridge. Trimaran. Some little though. No, Huge, actually. See when he's flying along, he's going to go in the center hull only. And the two outside ones are barely touching. So really super fast. Charter? I don't know. It's pretty new. Well, this bridge flies. Yeah, I was saying in the last video that this is funny. Uh, on the right, there is like the most fancy place, <laughs> and on the just the right by them, it's like some little uh, fishery shacks with people dancing and drinking. Yeah, and the fishing shacks are still open. 
and the restaurants are closed. Exactly. Actually, it looks like Garcia's has opened. That's where you can pull up and get your fish cooked and served right at your boat. Wow. I wonder it's hard for you to breathe way up here. <laughs> we prefer this level right here. <laughs> nice soup. Who got that? William got me this as a present last time. So I decided to please him and wear it today. <laughs> please his eyes. People are kayaking in the middle of Miami River. Sure, why not? Uh. One of our subscribers actually said that whoever's doing the editing needs a solid dose of replin. Well, thanks to you, we've decided to make this extended version and longer shots. Thank you for your comments. Well, once again, we have a nice, beautiful, sunny day. 30 knot gusts, 50, 50 knot gusts of wind tonight. Yana loves this kind of weather. Yes, I do. Look at this traffic. This is boating in Miami on holiday. 500 boats in one place. Well, we just had about two and a half feet from a near accident. A fool decided to go in between our 50-foot yacht, a 47-foot in front of us, and a sailboat. He decided to try and thread like a shoe. Went zigzagging in between and out. I had to lay on the horn, cut back the throttles. Had we been in the Dong Hunter, he would have been skewered like a little lobster because that boat does not stop. And he turned around smiling. That was like a bunch of um, <laughs> muscle guys and uh, bikini girls, probably drugged or drunk, I don't know, but... Testosterone. We'll read about them in about a month. They'll be wondering why some people are floating around and the boat cut in half. After living here for 15 years, if you don't have a guide about where to go and when to go, this is not a nice place. But if you have all the secrets and how to get away from all of these, I won't even say the word, then uh, it's an amazing place to spend a lot of time. We're going to one of those hidden places, by the way. In the rain, 20 knot winds, love boating. This is what happens when you ask somebody to pull on the anchor chain and you're letting out the road. This chain, mm -hmm. sometimes it gets bound, so you have to grab the chain and pull really hard so it unhooks. Otherwise it gets caught inside this corner. Yeah, first William sent me here, <laughs> and he's yeah, like, pull like, an anchor, and I'm like, where is it? <laughs> this? You want me to pull this chain? This is the anchor. This is our spare. You need to take me uh, more often on the boat trips. <laughs> Too much editing. It burns the brain. Anchor? Anchor? Oh, man, anchor. <laughs> this is the entrance of No Name Harbor. The uh, boat coming out right now, if you look quickly, before he leaves. So it's a very narrow entrance. This way, that's the city 
of Miami in the far distance. If you look off to the east, that is the Atlantic Ocean. And behind us is Stiltsville, all of the homes that were built years ago that were built on top of the water. The water there can be as low as two foot. So a lot of areas through here is very, very shallow. So the white went out and now at the red, how much chain do we have out? 20 feet. <laughs> the white went out and now the red. How much chain is out? 20 feet. <laughs> okay, uh, wait. So, so when you painted the chain, you painted it every 20 feet. So 40. Yes! <laughs> You love my wife, especially when I'm standing on the upper deck. The only time that she's shorter than I am. <laughs> oh, we're getting a nice storm, huh? Yes. It's hitting us now. leg of the chicken. William is holding on to it. <laughs> the last leg of the chicken that's not even two hours old. Out at sea for two hours. All the provisions is eaten. <laughs> I mean, <nothing>. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> that's what happened when you Still the last chicken on board. <laughs> In Russia, there's a huge shortage of napkins and paper towels, <laughs> silverware and plates. <laughs> Most people eat with their fingers right out of the box. <laughs> we also have a shortage of a good man. That's why I found William here and made him a savage. <laughs> I asked him to buy chicken at the store. So we can grill it, comes back when that, that's already done. And I get up, because there's a storm, close all the hatches, run over the boat, and get down the kitchen, and where's Yana? Eating the chicken. So I have to eat mine now, or I may not ever be there. William was saying that while he was running around, he smelled chicken. <laughs> he didn't know where it was coming from. <laughs> I was sneaking with my chicken. This is No Name Harbor and uh, a few boats off in the distance. You take a look at this big old cat going by and over here just past him You'll see that this is uh, entrance to No Name Harbor. Very small, secluded area. Off to this side, we've got downtown Miami. And then straight out is the Atlantic Ocean. It's about 6 o'clock in the evening. Uh, we just got a severe storm warning. We've got some pretty bad stuff coming in off the ocean so we're gonna start buttoning things down and uh, this can bring who knows what because in Miami the weather can change like that Storm. their anchor is not set up correctly so the storm pulled them in very close to us are you gonna let them know about that uh, 
just sitting there enjoying it. And then we have our normal Miami sport fishermen that think that they own the ocean. Yeah, they always blast through like there is no one else in the through the bridge. They come f um, without any kind of cue. Wah! Oh my goodness. Wow, look at how it's rocking. We haven't been out for a while, so we kind of forgot about Miami idiots. I can't wait till the time where we will be living on an anchor with William and that will be our home. Once in a while William has these crazy ass ideas. So now he decided that he needs to go wash the boat while it's raining. It's cold, it's freaking storm and I have no idea what, why he has to do that but I guess he wants it. He does it. ice balls all over and William explained to me that that actually was hail. I didn't know. I didn't know it was possible in Miami. Why did I marry a crazy man? William got tired watching 500 videos about anchor dragging. He fell asleep. I'm now scared of anchor dragging, so I'm gonna go check. <laughs> what did you say? What anchor I'm checking? There are no words that can explain the peacefulness of being at anchor at night. No cars, no sirens just quietness and beauty. <laughs> I think it's fine. No one can see my panty. <laughs> Last night we had some really bad storms. Severe thunderstorm, tornado warnings. Uh, I went over and got all the things secured on the boat, tied down, and all night long the boat was bouncing, rocking, things were flying all over the marina. And it was a pretty interesting storm. 
and um, let's see what uh, my partner has been up to. I think she's practicing for watch duty on the boat. And I guess this is my turn to be at watch and it's her turn to uh, think about it. What'd you say? I said <laughs> Oh, <laughs> how was that storm last night? Yes? That's awesome. Well, we thought you were practicing watch duty. Watch duty? Yeah. It's what you do when one person's up taking care of everything and the other person is resting. Watch duty practice. You were practicing the sleeping and I was practicing the working. Last night, really some bad weather. This morning, a couple of water spouts even, and uh, a couple of boats ducked in here for protection because of the protected area behind the ocean. I want to give you a quick shot of Stiltsville. These are the homes I was telling you about on the water. A little story is that the man we bought Dawn Hunter from actually lived on one of these homes and in Hurricane Andrew he took the boat Dawn Hunter into the Miami River tied it up rode out Hurricane Andrew when he got back his home was gone everything was missing and then he decided to go out in search of uh, another place to live and ended up getting an island in the Abacos which we will cover uh, sometime later on in the future oh look who came to join us this morning it's raining, do you know that? <laughs> we have. Yesterday he was washing the boat under the rain. Now he's vlogging around there under the rain. You know, you have a. What are you doing? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> there we go. I was going to say you have a dry boat inside. Oh, yes? You don't have to do it here under the rain. No. <laughs> no. Well, you know, we love water all around us. Good morning. How was your sleep? We had three water spouts. We had one boat lose its anchor and fly past us. We had a dinghy go by with a bird on it. And we had about four or five different warnings this morning, marine warnings. And my beautiful wife was doing what she did so well. She was on night watch <laughs> called sleep watch. I was editing till one in the morning. And so the good thing about sleeping at night is the fact that you don't know about all this danger coming by. <laughs> true. true. <laughs> nice outfit. Thank you. <laughs> so a, a little uh, overview. Uh, it's a 1985 Jefferson motor yacht. Um, 48 foot long and I bought it up in New York after Hurricane Sandy. Uh, it wasn't damaged, nothing was bothered with the boat. Uh, it rose up off the jack stands, put it onto a duck reserve island and uh, the cost to remove it from the island was like 90000 So they went ahead and claimed the boat in Hurricane. I went and got the boat off the island uh, without that type of funding, I found a couple of guys that could bring them off for me. Um, even the champagne glasses in the boat were untouched. So the boat has been an amazing boat. I've had her for eight years. And uh, the Dawn Hunter will be taking the place of Champagne Lady. So if you're in mind of a good boat, one that is fantastic, make sure you look me up. This boat's going to become someone's new home. Um, and you can see it on one of the listings. I'm cold out here, so I'm going back inside. My camera's shaking.
Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so we just arrived here yesterday, and today William is already scared because he heard something about water spouts in the radio. So he says that we have to go back. William's not scared. A little chicken. William <laughs> is an intelligent captain. Sometimes, from intelligence to scared is not a big of a difference. Ow! So you know we don't we don't have um, rice. So. Oh, wait a minute, why is it generally off? Okay. I think our generator has just broke down. William to the rescue. <laughs> so what do you think has happened to generator? I think it's been like that once, no? Well, where we are. We could have pulled something up from the bottom. Plug the strainer. I shut the battery off last night to the generator as a precaution. So if for some reason the batteries all went down for the inverter, I could still turn on the generator. So it might be that Generator doesn't want to run without having its own battery on. I've not ever shut the battery off before. Let's see if that's the issue. So for tonight, due to the 35 mile an hour gusts, in war morning has moved north. Biscayne Bay of coastal waters, hazard water spouts, wind gusts to 34 knots or greater. I think the generator shut off. It did. Which. Well, at least William Porridge is ready. Mango Porridge. Is right here. Almost done. So we must be shutting off when it gets here. Please think of seaweeds. Seaweeds, or it sucked the bag in, or something from the marina. Because there's a lot of bags and things floating around where we're at. Thank you. So, ice in there. I didn't buy any. So, what's the plan with the food then? Do you want a croissant with butter and jam then? <laughs> Instead of uh, eggs? I guess so. Okay. Because you won't be cooking eggs without them later. So we don't have our gas stove. That's where the gas kind of gets handy. How are you making it on the grill? Well, you want egg? I, I was planning on croissant anyway, so it's up to you. I have a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I said croissant. I didn't say peanut butter jelly sandwich. See, he says to me, take care of the breakfast, and then he comes here and starts to... Oh, what? Well, I don't know this word, it always comes out. Ordering his food. It's a restaurant. <laughs> We're in quarantine, there's no ordering. Exactly. You get what you get. <laughs> and then we cross on. Thank you. Beautiful wife. So today is a funny day. Yesterday we came uh, to No Name Harbor and we're planning to go to a pumpkin island today. But the weather forecast is really bad. There were a couple of water spouts and um, it's raining all day. And then our generator 
kind of broke. William Stanks said it sucked something in and so he doesn't want to fix it here because of the weather and he said that to sum up we better go back. I don't want to go back but what the captain says the crew just does silently. We are leaving the Biscayne Bay. So much for Pumpkin Island. <laughs> um, but sometimes we learn that it's better to um, run from the storm. Yes, because last, <laughs> last time we were here in the first tropical storm and it was not fun. I made William to go up here and we were sitting in the um, in our offshore life jackets. Yeah. <laughs> because the boat was bouncing and flopping all over. Yeah. We had like eight foot to nine foot seas coming off the ocean. Yeah, so that's why, though I'm not happy that we are leaving, but I'm not against that this time. Another asshole coming by, passing by. Look at that wake. Can't even see over his nose. <laughs> Our top is leaking a little bit. Nice, beautiful boarding day. wondering how is the water slide working out today. Several people were out there anchored for the last month because of the quarantine. So they chartered large yachts and that's where they've been hanging. There's oh. a whole bunch of them out here. Really? Yeah. Yeah, a month and a half they've stayed here. We'll get a chair for you out there. It's a That's awesome. <laughs> I made a small joke here after the danger had passed, but being on the open water is a serious adventure and should not be taken lightly. There's no doubt that when it comes to water spouts, then the Florida Keys holds the gold medal. There are anywhere between four and 500 water spouts every year during the thunderstorm seasons, some which can be very light and some can cause winds in excess of 60 miles per hour and cause severe damage. Spent yesterday in the rainstorm scrubbing the deck. My wife thought I was kind of crazy. And now you can see what she's doing. Taking advantage of the fresh water shower.
I scrub the deck and Yana scrubs Yana. <laughs> Have to take advantage of the weather, you know? Yeah. Sailors here. It's a water <laughs> Secret, my husband hates when he finds soap on his bullard. Right behind me is a Kibiskin bridge, very long. In a short 24 hour period, we had three water spouts, 50 knot gusts of winds, and boats dragging their anchor. So we had to return back to the home port. So, right behind me is downtown Miami, and right here is Port of Miami. It's been more than 20 cruise ships parked in Miami on a regular basis, but now because of current situation, all of them couple of them in the port with still people on them and uh, some people are complaining that um, they were fed like a rotten food or something but I mean you never know so there's still people on the cruise ships stuck because uh, they can't let them out because of the quarantine <laughs> is it dry under there? <laughs> And while William ran to the bathroom, I was a captain. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not fresh anything. So, you're going to ready to pilot up the river? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> come, come back. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> For five seconds. Um, William likes to take his time in the bathroom, but lunch. <laughs> but once we are captaining, <laughs> he is running super fast. Three seconds, he gives me with the will. I think he he's afraid that I'm gonna fall in love and decide to get my own captain license. <laughs> Only gonna fall in is a bridge bumper. He would never allow me to pilot the boat. He's he he's too proud of a captain. Oh yeah? Okay, and what now? Hail the bridge. <laughs> no! I cannot do that. What do you mean? I want to be captain. No, the green on the, on the left, right? On the right. On the right. That, that is here on the left. No, green on the left. On the left. Here or there? <laughs> yeah, that's what I said, on the left. Why are you saying on the right? See, he's, he, he wants to make me make a mistake. What does your book tell you? <laughs> this is my book. Yeah. Oh, your <laughs> You know we have an expression in Wisconsin, deer in the headlights? <laughs> are these ocean rescue guys or no? They're just friends. <laughs> so there's a jet ski pulling the boat. Jetskitow.com. That's interesting. You can see it, but it says 25 feet. Going through the bridge. Nice. 
Sorry, he's at 21. I told you 21. I, I can say without your binocular. This bridge doesn't have the clearance. Oh, it's 21. Cool. Oh, there it is. 21, 21, yeah. Actually, 21 you can see, so it's... 22. Yes. Yeah, so it's kind of dumb. In the Miami River, a lot of uh, all the signs of the water uh, clearance is on the right. But most of the time you can't see them because the river does this. So once you're coming in, you can see it like at the last moment. So it's like basically useless. Um, I don't know. I, th I think they should be on the both sides, but what's this one? <laughs> <laughs> this one is Probably he has a wine business or something. <laughs> because it looks like wine to me. It's a, yes. So we just successfully docked under the rain. And guess what William is doing? No, he's not resting or anything like that. He is washing the dinghy. <laughs> the revenge is going to be bad. I had dropped the blender cup in the water. I wanted to wash it and that's what happened. I also wanted to die for it but William said that there is a dangerous current and he doesn't want to risk his wife for a blender cup. No. <laughs> <laughs> How did you like that shower? <laughs> You're not gonna. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. Don't worry. It's not waterproof for your information. <laughs> Hand me some of the boat salt. Yes. This one? Yes. The best. A little drop. Had this for about two years. Maybe because you don't wash your boat very often. Just two little dabs. You could use this for your shower. <laughs> Maybe put it back so it's not joining your mug. Well, it would be nice to have the tripod. Yes. Is that Russian 
or American? What? Russian is get the tripod, please. American is like <laughs> it would be nice to have a tripod. <laughs> it's American. It's not okay. <laughs> if I would be if I would be in Russia, I would say. Where's the effing tripod? No, bring the tripod. Okay. Like but here it just would be nice to have it, and it would be nice for me to bring it for you. Even wet like a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> wet like a mouth. Yes. And dry as a what? Dry as a rock? As a rock. Or as one of our As bones. Our our favorite followers. Dry as a bone, not dry as bones. <laughs> <laughs> but it's close. So that's how it starts. William starts to clean something, then I feel bad. And then I'm cleaning in five minutes instead of William. I think that's his American way of saying that I should be cleaning the box. William telling me that I'm a pretend sailor in my Haley Hansen jacket and he's a pretend <laughs> clothes washer. <laughs> Anything else you need to wash? Before yeah. Finished? Just a second. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> On it. Topless washing in the marina. <laughs> Captain Hook. <laughs> hey. Storm takes seven. Duck. <laughs> Just when you least expect it, an accident can happen at sea very fast. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. William is setting up Snooba at the back and I'm chilling on a bumper. Suddenly, I hear... Shit! Do you remember how to do stitches? I skipped that class. This video is available now to our Patreon at patreon.com slash dawn underscore hunters. It will be released in the future for our subscribers on YouTube. For those of you that can't wait, from now on we will have early release adventures for our patrons.